So now we're going to use um, those rules that we had in the first video. Find and simplify the functions. Okay, first we're going to do g minus f of x. Well, g minus f of x is equal to g of x minus f of x. So you take them individually and subtract them. Well, we know what g of x is. It's x squared minus 1. And I can put parentheses around that. That might be helpful. And then I'm going to be subtracting. Now what's f of x? Uh, right here. So f of x is x minus 1 like that. Okay, so now we want to put that together and simplify it. So we're going to say x squared minus 1 minus x plus 1. We're distributing the minus sign. And it looks like the ones are canceling out, so we're just going to have x squared minus x. So we usually leave our um, answer, if it's a polynomial, in simplest polynomial form. Okay, so there's g minus f of x. The other one, I lost it, is g divided by f of x. And we know that's going to equal g of x divided by f of x. Um, and we, we can say, by the way, f of x cannot be 0, or in other words, x minus 1 cannot be 0, or x cannot be 1. Okay, so just that little um, situation that, by the way, x can't be 1. Um, okay, so what is g of x? Well, we know that. We already have that underlined in orange. So that's going to be equal to x squared minus 1 over, and then we already have the f of x right there, x minus 1. Now we can simplify this. Um, the numerator factors into x plus 1 and x minus 1. And so we get those x minus 1's to cancel, and we get x plus 1. By the way, x cannot be... Neg uh, 1, that comes from the original part um, up here, so you should note that, but there you go. And then the question says, are they the same function? So is this the same as this? No, they're not the same, not the same. Okay, so that was an example of subtracting two functions and dividing two functions. But I thought I would go ahead and do uh, multiplying and adding them. So um, my g of x, what was my g of x? It was x squared minus 1. And then f of x was x minus 1. Okay, so that's just from above. Okay, so now we want to multiply. So we're going to take... F, fg of x, or f times g of x, that's equal to f of x times g of x. So in our case, we're going to have um, x minus 1 times x squared minus 1. And we're going to go ahead and multiply that out. We're going to get x cubed minus x minus x squared plus 1. Let me put it in standard polynomial form, and we would write it like that. Okay, and then the other one is addition, so f plus g of x. That's going to equal f of x plus g of x. And so in our case, we're going to get x minus 1 plus... Uh, x squared minus 1. And then if I simplify that, let's see, I have x minus 1 plus x squared minus 1, or x squared plus x minus 2. That's what I get. Okay, so I just wanted to show you those. Um, that's using the algebra of functions.